Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a new episode of Marwan. In the last episode, we went from Aldran over here to Caldera. We brought some good stuff in Caldera, then we moved down to Balmora, which was actually our destination, to um, tell Aedisfire that we'd taken care of um, the Telvani agents, which we actually did in episode 14. And we also did the codebook quest for Aedis FireEye, in which we were to retrieve a codebook that Sotild over at the South Wall Corner Club had. And with that taken care of, we can actually now continue. But I am sorry, but uh, we are going to continue with a bit of rambling. Basically, I haven't uploaded. Episode 4 of LEGO Races 2, I have recorded and is ready to upload, I have edited too, so it won't be raw footage. Um, after I did that, computer broke down, and I got it working again, uh, basically had to do the annoying reinstall windows and stuff like that, but then um, after I tried to start it up, uh, first time it did work to start up, but after that, no, computer would not let me, uh, my screen was, and it was because of the motherboard had passed away, so we changed that and everything seems to um, work so far, I'm also still having a little bit of cold. Uh, still on my voice, just a tiny bit, but it, it won't be too much of a noticeable difference from before, I hope, at least. So, you should still be able to hear my Swedish accent. So, um, are you kidding me? Bethesda, come on! Well, we cannot simply just start an episode without some glitches and bugs. So, um, yeah. What are we going to do in this episode? I have actually thought of starting off the Thief skill. Mostly because we have done the Fighter skill for such a long time, and our next place where we're supposed to do a quest is like over here. And I don't feel like going there uh, in this episode. So, uh, we are not going to go there. In <laughs> this episode, I because this is episode twenty, I also thought of doing something special. Uh, this is double the amount of episode that I did in my old series, so uh, I just hope that we will do at least twenty more episodes because I have actually been enjoying this. I did not enjoy Morrowind as much when I started out the series, I thought Dungeon Siege was way more fun to record, but now Morrowind has really stuck with me. I found it's a very enjoyable game, and it's still a very much blind playthrough, I'm not done a lot of stuff before, but I am happy that I can do it while you people are watching. Hopefully do a 100% completion, even though that's not technically impossible, because you cannot join the Halalu, Redoran, and Telvani uh, houses at the same time. But we will come to that later, I have not joined the house yet. So there is still a quest in the deck I would really love to do, but I feel like that is going to be a special episode later uh, I'm going to definitely make a machinima on it the intro and it's going to be epic but for now I guess let's just do the thief skill Got better than the that's how I like how it. you do bold and direct oh, I like you well this is a grand day greetings well hello beautiful lady how about I go straight to the point like Martha how about you, Andres? 
Um, uh, mm, <clears throat> that was not what I meant, okay? Um, you're still my enemy. I took your code book from me. Already so stop with your... So stop with your temptations. Uh, look, offer this up by just a tiny bit. Uh, this is actually take three on this episode. Uh, yeah, just because the volume was not good previously. Friend. Friend. What is it all? Are you here looking for jobs? Or are you here for an advancement? Well, I actually would like some job to do. Uh, uh, otherwise this episode will become incredibly boring. A good friend of a party wants a diamond. Now Karya, the alchemist, has diamonds. Diamonds? Why? Well, a friend of mine wants a diamond from Habasi. Nalkaria of Whitehaven had diamonds last time Habasi sniffed out her store. Bring Habasi a diamond. Nalkaria of Whitehaven? Who is that? <laughs> her shop is northwest side of town. Go across the river, turn right and keep going. If you reach the temple, Turn left. Well, I suppose so. As just read the journal as we always do. Sugarlips asked me to bring her a diamond. She believes that Nalkaria of Whitehaven here in Balmora has diamonds, but any diamond will do. So pretty much, if you if you have followed my playthrough, um, you will actually have diamonds already. Um, so you definitely don't need to worry about going to her store and rob some diamonds off her, but... Uh, if you're brand new and just came to this channel for a walkthrough, because I probably have something like starting the sea skills or something, uh, I will show you uh, how to do it. So how basically you just go to the store and it's perfect because it's night time, we want some realism in this playthrough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am right. Well, the AI is not the greatest, so she will not be asleep. It's not like Oblivion's Radiant AI, will they? Where they have tasks they perform every day, schedules basically. Um, these just stand around and wander around town, or if they are shot, they just stand in one place. You don't have to run around in the whole room. So, you just would go up to her shop and actually go upstairs. Uh, I will show you why. Because we're gonna be one sneak man. And gonna be sure that I have fatigue so I can lock pick the upper door. Because that is where we, you will be going. We we'll actually need to visit the temple someday as well. We could use some spells over there. So this is also a great couple of quests. Well, eh. I would not say it's great for sneaking, but it's definitely a couple of good quests to start off the thief skill, but Oblivion definitely have a better thief skilled quest line and I wonder how they will not able to see me so I'm just going to go straight to the point and equip your lockpick diamonds for Abasi and sneak and then you will try to lockpick it well I'm not that successful successful So it won't work, and I don't want to spend like thousands of lockpicks just on this ten of door. There we go, it's open. Now, if you sneak, you actually will increase a little bit of sneaking, and uh, because there are two people downstairs, there's an Alcaria and there's a Halalu guard. So you can technically take all this stuff if you want some cheap money, but. None of them is really worth it. What we came for is this jewelry box or small chest as it's called in Morrowind. 
basically just want to lockpick this and I would be successful if my lockpick skill was higher and there we go we have three diamonds wonderful and you can also check these urns alchemy ingredients uh, wonderful we will definitely need to increase our intelligence to get a bit more intel intelligence obviously um, because we are going to cast some higher level spells later if wa I won't be a spell caster in that sort of like a bunch of fireballs and stuff but But rather restoration magic, like alteration and restoration, uh, basically. Because I'm thinking of having a permanent conjured creature that we will roleplay that it is actually a pet of ours uh, that we had before long ago. Because roleplay. <laughs> So go back here. Here to talk? You're a welcome break from the locals. Why have you not um, dressed yet? Stop it. How may I help? It's not hot. Hello, Philip. Sarah? Yes, I'm taller than you, so I'm not Sarah. Do you find the diamond for a passy? Look at the facial expression. Wow. Yes, I have. Here it is. Have a diamond for Habasi? Yes, I already said so. Yes, a diamond. Habasi will take care of everything. Habasi cannot pay you until Habasi's friend pays Habasi. But Habasi has this potion to give to you. Exclusive invisibility has been added to inventory. Hmm. Not really something we would able to use a lot, but if you have a low sneaking skill and ever gets to trouble, it's definitely useful, I would suppose. So, do you have any more jobs for us? Habasi wants the key to Nerano Mano. Nerano Mano? Habasi wants the key to Nerano Mano. Downstairs, Manos are rarely locked. But Habasi wants to go upstairs secretly. Who has the key? Andres Nerano has a key. Habasi thinks Nerano's servant, Svatrandel, who comes to the club, has a key. Who is Andres Nerano? He lives near an Alcaria shop. His home is in the middle of the street. Okay. Who is Sova Trandell? He spends all his time and gold at the country club over by the Silk Strider. I suppose that's a simple enough quest. Mm. I delivered a diamond to Sugarlips Habasi. Sugarlips Habasi asked me to bring her the key to the top floor of the Renaro Manor here in Balmora. Andres Nerano certainly has a key, but it may be easier to get the key from one of his servants, such as Sobot Rondell at the Balmora Council Club. I'm listening. It's good that you're listening, my dear follower. So, we could get to the Council Club. I have some bad memories uh, over there, so let's just put it like that. I forgot my frame rate, what do you feel? Um, if you're wondering why I like to have my frame rate up, it's just because like, I can easily adjust things if I see it. It, it may not as always be a snowstorm just on the screen itself. <sighs> the concert club. I have some pretty bad memories over here. Poor Kara Olaf being abused as always. Sad. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I have some bad memories with you and everyone else in here. I I have a look at on you. Please have a look around. So this is the guy we want to talk to. His face is like, what up? I don't care about you. Go away. Someone watching me. I can tell. You can always tell. <laughs> Hello, hello, friend. I'm Sova Trundell. Welcome to Balmora. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. Or try, anyway. And if you sell a little advice you like, 
That's fine too. I can still do a dark elf voice, that's very important. Um so are you who is Andre Snowball? I work for him. What else do you want to know? I run on it. That's where I work. Well, so basically you will also have to do some speech craft with the version. I suppose, because I don't think no, you won't be able to get the key um, with the standard disposition. You have to use speedcraft. So that is very good if you have it at least in minor skills, because it's a hard and painful skill to level up otherwise. So let's try now. Persuasion. Uh, perhaps save a bit. So I would want to bribe you 10 gold. The other man is offensive. Well, of course. I, I admire. Okay. Well, basically, uh, I will speed this up. Uh, you know how to do it. Yes, a spam bribe gold as well. If you cannot. So I will see you in a minute. So you actually only need to uh, persuade him to 70, but I decided to do 80 just for the extra experience. And he looks extremely pissed off, so let's just do this quickly. I would like the Urano key. That's where I work. For small consideration, I might tell you a bit more. So to give is to get the key you will just bribe him. Just do ten gold. Okay, let's do one hundred. Yep. Yeah. So i i guess it's bribe successful. Alright, you want the key? <sighs> just don't tell Andres Nirano I did it. Not that he doesn't deserve it. With what he pays me. Silver Trondel has suggested that for a little compensation, he'd be willing to help me out. I convinced Silver Trondel to give me the key to Nirvana Mine. So, all you need to do actually is to uh, go back to Sugar Lips Habasi, but I would like to do something extra. Going to do some. I cannot say because I'm a lawful citizen, of course. Let's try again. Stealing! There we go. Oops, none of the guards here. Man. So you would go upstairs, and. So if you have uh, the. Halalu Council Manor over there, and what is this? Tiravel Manor, and there's two guard houses. Um, there's Halalu Manor, and then you will go over here on the top. So, with the key, you would be able to go up here. Uh, I doubt that you would have 16 security. <laughs> so, let's just go in here, see what we can find out. Key to Nirana Manor, use to unlock. Oh, block level 10. Uh, let's just skip until I regain full fatigue. Okay, so that basically should be enough. Let's try to unlock pick this. We don't not get what we actually want to do. What's this? A clay pot? Anything worth in here? Uh, I will read all of these books later, but right now we don't have any point of being here, basically. Okay, 
Oh, is there anything fun here? Oh, crap. Oh my goodness, that's what we can get a lot of money for. Let's, let's just lockpick and see what we get actually. So we have an undo this unhinging for this, so I won't be, need to... Uh, what's this called? Uh, try and waste my lockpick on this. Okay, and then we use one of these. That's what I call a great success. I think a, a drunk man's lockpick would be better for this. Yes. Let's just unlock this and then we will come back later to get this stuff okay good and then we take this as well we can't become rich again let's just reload the save so we have all our lock picks back this later but right now our inventory is full so we cannot get anything so let's sneak out again and we will be rich wait it oh I hope I hope it's everything is unlocked after because I don't want to waste my lock picks uh, at least I got some uh, security increases so I Yes, that was good. So let's just go back to Shugalips, pretend nothing has happened, and give her the key. Actually, let's go to Ravir first. I just realized that if we give her the key, and then if it's locked, you won't be able to get out or get in <laughs> without him noticing us. And I want to be doing some roleplay. I, we need to be quite successful. So, the guy we don't want to talk to too much. So, hello, Ravir. Ravir is no why you are here. You want to buy Ravir's famous death and favorite. Actually, no, but I'm going to give you... Give me money. So, common belt, common ring, common shirt, common shoes, expensive belt. Ooh. I'm gonna keep the bell for enchanting purposes later on. Since we have such a good belt right there. I'm getting a little bit too excited. Will you take 260 for that? Thank you, please come again. Oh, Ravir, you look good, friend. This is an armor. Oh, you think that's also positive? So you look like fancy. Let's go back and steal the other stuff. We are going to become rich. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. Run upstairs and get the stuff. Oh yes, it's still there. Okay, and then we, uh, I will come back in a minute. I'm just going to sell all the stuff he had upstairs because we are going to get some good money. Friend. Okay, so we are back at Sugar Lips. So we, let's just say that we have a round key. You have a key for Havali? Yes, here it is. 
Yes, Habasi liked this key very much. Habasi pays you well for this key. 500 gold plus the gold we got from selling the stuff. Wow, wonderful. So we have a for Now, before we end, I just want to do one final quest. And it's basically Saya's quest. If you remember in episode 13, we found a deceased corpse who basically was the corpse of Ernal and um, we had this note on him note from Ernal Sire uh, here's your stuff sorry I couldn't say and chat with you but it's not always a good idea for me to hang around Ernal. so we are basically just want to find this Sire and then uh, do we have a school of that? is somewhere around here. That's Robert's house. Carlyer's. Carlyer. Carlyer? Carlyer. Carlyer. So it's over there or here. Ethan's house. Is a, it's also the house upstairs or it's at a different house. Fast Eddie's house. Wow. I have a friend uh, named Eddie. I also had a friend named Freddy, and I have not met in a while. So that's nice. Dry Run Radarus. Baron Omorel. What? Did you see that? <laughs> Hashtag only is happens in Morrowind. Hello. I'm an actor of the Imperial Law. Move along. <laughs> oh, that one got me. <laughs> Hello. Nine Toes House, okay. Here maybe. Uh, Astius Hanok Telepello's house. Is that the same house? Yes. Okay. Termalin's house. Rithland's house. Where is Sire's house? Uh, let me skip with them, I suppose. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I did not search this house over here. So, uh, you should be able to have one on Dossie's on hygiene scroll. You can get one from Galbadir if he does not have one already. So let's go inside. I don't want to lose both of the scrolls. Okay, there we go. Then she is upstairs, I believe. Hello, Saya. What does the Red Guard mean? What can Saya do for you? Someone in particular. What do you mean you're looking for me? I don't know you, do I? You say you have a note from Ernan? Yes. Um, I'm sorry, but I found Ernal dead, probably an overdose. You you got a note for, uh, not for Saya? That's odd. Saya was expecting him here any day now. He, he He's dead? Oh, oh no! Ernal was a good man and always dead clearly. Saya doesn't suppose you found anything he might have been delivering to Saya, did you? <clears throat> yes. There was something on the body that might have belonged to you. Well, it's a shame you didn't pick up that skooma pipe. No need to skooma coat what it was. Saya was looking forward to getting her pipe. Well, thanks for the information. Skooma pipe? Yes, well... 
Iron Head was supposed to be li living in that room. Would have been nice to have. Shigalip's Habasi thanked me for bringing her the key to Nirana Man. After having found the corpse of Erno and the other objects on it, I decided to travel to see Saya in Balmora. I talked to Saya, but I hadn't picked up the it item Erno was carrying for her. She seemed like it, she wants it back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here. It has been going on for quite a while, like always. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you have been enjoying this episode, but actually, before we end, I just want to do a recap. In today's episode, we have done two quests for the Thieves Guild. One being getting the diamonds for Abasi, and the second being the getting Nerano's key for Habasi, but we actually also raided his house, so we got quite good of stuff there. And we also uh, talked to Saya to deliver the sad message that we found Ernold dead. In the next episode, we're going to retrieve the item she would want. And yeah, we will see also what we will do in the next episode. I hope you have been having a good day, thanks for watching, and goodbye.